Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I said this in the past month because I saw the articles that were giving us a little by little. And if you, if you can read between the lines, you understand what's going on. I think the Ukrainian army is depleted, decimated, and they don't have reserves. And I will give you all the information that I use in order to reach this conclusion. Now, I'm going to look at the article that I'm going to discuss today, which is like the cherry on the cake. That is the clear evidence that they are depleted. They don't have reserves. Here is the article. Ukrainska Pravda. Ukraine's army needs additional reserves to break through all Russian defense lines. Where from? Where are going to get the, the, the additional reserves? Do you think that they didn't plan on that? They don't have them. They don't have them. Estonian Foreign Intelligence Services has start, stated that Ukraine's counteroffensive's most important events are taking place in Zaporozhye Oblast just like before. And it says Estonian intelligence said that further success of Ukraine's armed forces depend on how quickly they can deploy additional reserves and forces. From where? Okay. Uh, Estonian blah 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 added that at the same time Russian forces are trying to conduct counterattacks and thereby make the Ukrainians withdraw from Zaporozhye towards Liman and Kremina. But Russia has not succeeded in this plan. All right. So I'm going to stick with this. Needs additional reserves. They can't deploy it because these guys are attacking them in other areas. So let me show you what's going on here. This is one article on a video that I made on September 3rd, 2023. And this was for me the conclusion. Yes, Ukraine military is depleted, decimated by Russia. They go after their... Let me go back to this. They go after their 60,000 students now. So, I don't know if you're familiar with the articles or the videos I made with, based on the articles I was provided by the Ukrainians themselves. They, the Ukrainians, Zelensky, goes after this. If we, I made another video on um, a law that would uh, narrow or give the ability to recruit people with medical issues, people that were, you know, uh, previously were, how do you call it, uh, exempt from serving. And I'm going to show you that article of that video too that I, uh, that I made. All right, and here it is. Is there one on top? Proof Ukraine military ran out of recruits. It goes after unfit and medically, oops, medically exempted ones. All right. So I provided that 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 based on their their, their uh, articles and evidence, but I didn't look at it as being you know bad. No, no, no. And this was was done wherever it was done. And where are you? What date? I posted this on. September 3rd, the, the same day. Why? Because these guys gave me so many things. One, they said they, they're going to go after students, certain students, so they limit their ability to avoid conscription. First, second one, they go to, uh, after the unfit that before were allowed, but now they're going to eliminate certain reasons why they uh, could not be, uh, they could uh, uh, be medically exempted. And the other one is the, the Ukrainians are going to send to European countries requests for, for extradition to many people that fled the country. They didn't want to serve. They didn't want to fight the Russians. So you got people, if, if things were go, would, would go excellent, they would not resort to this. Medically unfit, medically un, uh, uh, exempted students, a certain category of students that before was a okay and they're going to ask for extradition for the people who left. So what evidence, what other evidence you want? It was an article that they presented. I can't remember what was the, the media outlet uh, saying that the Russians pulled out a tank um, operator or a, from a crew. They, uh, how do you call it? They got a 70 year old Ukrainian in a tank crew. He was in the, in, on the front. And very young uh, uh, people caught, surrounded, and arrested, uh, whatever, um, taken prisoner by the Russians. 
So these guys have a shortage of personal 100%, 99%. And now they come with this article here telling us, and this is the, the how do you call it, Estonians need additional reserves. They're working on it. They are working on it, but it doesn't work that, that, that fast. Then we'll have volunteers coming and people who are training right now in the West about, I can remember how many thousands, because you cannot keep their track the track of how many will come in. And I'm, I suspect they will speak many foreign languages, not necessarily Ukraine, Ukrainian. So another, another I think, evidence. These are not going to tell you, you know what, like, uh, I don't know, Colin McGregor would tell you, they are done, man, they are no more weapons, no more nothing like this. That's his information he's got it from wherever he's got it. I'm using their articles, their little weasel articles, and say they give us just portions portions of you have to connect the dots anyway my friends this is it i think these guys are on the last leg that's why nato and the handlers al capone activates romania and maybe uh, armenia not azerbaijan armenia they will do that because i know i said it in a, in a previous video i mentioned armenia but not armenia um no, i mentioned azerbaijan but i meant armenia nevertheless mistakes uh, I, uh, um, how do you call it? Uh, yeah, if I make a mistake, I say I make a mistake. I own it. What am I supposed to do? Sometimes uh, it happens. So anyway, unless I will uh, make a confusion between which is Armenia and which is uh, Azerbaijan, mm. then you're kind of like, you don't have the information. Let's put it this way. So anyway, my friends, here it is. I think it's a fact, and we'll see how Romania will be pushed into a little aggression. Oh, sorry, um, self-defense reaction to an unprovoked attack from the Russians. Got it right, YouTube? All right. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.